Okay, so welcome back. Here is part two of my haul from a Cherry on Top and a Scrapbook.com. I got them a couple of weeks apart, um, but there were some pieces. I just showed um, the Simple Stories, Simple Vintage North Pole. If you missed that, that will be um, um, linked below, and it'll be, um, I'll go ahead and make it the end um, the end card where you can go ahead and click if you want to, if you missed that flip through of the Simple Stories Vintage Simple, what is it called? Simple Vintage North Pole. Oh my goodness, I just love this so much. So I just did a nice flip through of the 6x8 and 12x12 and some other pieces that I've got of that. So, and then a few other pieces that I got. Um, I actually got these journaling cards from scrapbook.com and I actually got this 6x6 pad from a cherry on top and <laughs> same with this I got the sugar cookie by Prima the journaling cards I got from a cherry on top and then I just purchased these embellishments now these were a little pricier I think I paid $5.99 for these ice skates and that's not something I normally do they were a little pricier but oh my goodness so this was definitely a little bit of a splurge and this goes with that sugar cookie line I have a lot of a lot of Christmas paper and I definitely has have pink pads for now I don't feel the need to go ahead and purchase the sugar cookie line and I already know so many people are already loving it so I for me just got this pack of the three by four journaling cards there's 15 designs um, three sheets of each so generally the back grounds of them are all the same they are so there is that sweet little pink and white print that is the back of all of these cards and then you get 15 designs three of each so here is this white Christmas card which I love I adore pink Christmas and then here a sugar sweet Christmas with you look at those beautiful sugar cookies and then oh my goodness isn't that fabulous what is that like a meringue I think that's what you call it and there's like can you see the little bit of snowflake print in it Fun detail. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that sweet little vintage deer visiting from the North Pole with presents, cheer, and a pink Christmas. <laughs> and then some little music notes. Music paper, I should say. Santa sweet. So cute. And then, oh my goodness, I loving him loving him i've got a lot of snowman stamps we might have to recreate with that pink love it you are sweet like sugar cookies and you can see those cookies in the background more santas oh look at how sweet this is such a teeny tiny print oh my gosh if they have that in the larger sheets that would be so so pretty that that one i would love to have a sheet or two and i love this wood grain back here so cute. well i was gonna say cute it's just oh my goodness it's just yummy love how they have the little ice skates back here with the santa some little deer and that is the end so that is the journaling card so that's a really great way if you can't afford like all of the kits or maybe you just like a few of the sheets pick your favorites um, to work with so you'll get some of the kit if you don't need to have all of the kit that's that's kind of how I roll now this is the six by six I just showed a card of uh, using this this is the Prima pumpkin and spice I think this is new this year if I'm not mistaken so I just did a coffee collaboration with Viel Ballen. Hi, Veronica, if you're watching. Um, I just shared this Christmas card. So this background paper um, is from this Prima line. It actually had a beautiful pink, um, pink sheet with uh, leaves on it. And then this is from that kit that was punched out from the cut apart. This was a little scrap that I tucked under here. Um, so this I used already making this pumpkin and spice line. So I got the six by six paper and then this here is six double sided designs, five sheets of each. So there you've got those awesome gingham and look at the cut aparts and it's lovely that you have so many of these now i also got the three by four kits and do you see this really cute with the rain boots and the sweater weather and the let's get cozy these cut aparts are extremely different from the journaling cards that i'm fixing to show you those pieces are 
these pieces are different from what's in here so interesting to note and I wished I had more of the rain boots in the three by four but that's okay I could probably order cut apart if I wanted but I am happy with the pieces I have because I'm just kind of um, needing to be more thoughtful about the budget so this is that awesome um, I love that it's a pink background with the leaf print and then of course there's that more simple background that I used on my card and look at all your pumpkins pumpkins I think I saw somebody haul at Hobby Lobby I think they have embellishments that are pumpkins that are a black and white gingham that could be an awesome um, something to add along I'll have to next time I pop out there I'll have to see if they have those so so pretty and we have this that's the background you can also cut these out look at the little lanterns back there with the pumpkins I, I I just tell you I love I love the different colors for the fall and I really love this it's kind of like a pink and an orange plaid I love that I love those color combos the little window with the lights on top so cute look at the, that window right there the other one I was talking about was down here with the little yeah like little lights so cute love that window too anyways so that is the pumpkin and spice line and did I show everything I guess I did so that is just a very small portion of the prima pumpkin and spice and the prima sugar cookie all right you guys thanks so much for stopping by and watching you guys have a very happy Wednesday please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and I will see you guys in the next video until next time